delighted to be here with the borough president, uh, Councilman uh, Jamani Williams, and Councilman Ritchie. Uh, these are the guys who, on the city council, play an active role, leadership role, in terms of the fight for quality, decent, affordable housing uh, in the city of New York. And uh, Mr. President, thank you very much for all that you're trying to do. Look, here's the bottom line. This is the wealthiest country in the history of the world. People should not be forced to live in dilapidated housing, where elevators break down and elderly people have to walk eight flights up or down to go and get some groceries. Unemployment for children should not be 50 or 60 percent. And then we're shocked to find out that kids get involved in crime. Community health centers should not be locked up because municipalities in New York and elsewhere do not have the capability of providing recreation to kids after schools. What this campaign is about is transforming our national priorities, not spending trillions of dollars on wars we should not get into, not spending billions of dollars on tax breaks for the 1%. What this campaign is about is transforming our national priorities rebuilding our infrastructure. And when we talk about rebuilding our infrastructure, that means rebuilding housing projects like this, not only here in New York, but all over this country. It means giving the children of America quality education in decent high-tech schools all over this country. So I'm just delighted to be here with these elected uh, representatives and congratulate them for the very, very difficult work that they are undertaking. Sure. Um, so I talked to one resident who said that he thought that this was publicity because she was here. Well, no matter what you do, look, I mean, no matter what you do, if I wasn't here, then people would say, why didn't you show up? Well, yesterday, as you may know, I was in Rome, and the day before that, I was someplace else, and we have a rally. The point is, I can understand the cynicism. Believe me, I can understand the cynicism. All right, but my understanding is not too many presidential candidates have come to Brownsville to right, right, the housing right. projects. I understand that maybe I'm the first one. Exactly yeah. never. Right, right, exactly right. never. Yeah. So that's a start. Uh, but if you check everything that I've been talking about, every speech that I've been giving, it is the need to transform our national priorities. It is the need to say that, that it is absurd that in this country, 35% of African-American children are living in poverty. And what this campaign is about, what a Sanders administration is about, is working with these guys to transform our national priorities. And by the way, when you rebuild dilapidated housing, you know what else you do? You start creating jobs that we desperately need. Senator, how exactly as president would you help prioritize communities like these? Well, federal government puts money into this type of housing, you can't abandon that housing. You can't build housing and then say good luck in trying to maintain it. But bottom line here again, this is the wealthiest country in the history of the world. Are we a poor country that can't afford to maintain public housing? I don't think so. And that means transforming our tax system. That means saying to corporate America and the wealthiest people in this country, yeah, you're going to have to start pay, paying your fair share so these children can have a future. Uh, in which they uh, can thrive in. 